new heights of sensuality uh, uh, as Mediterranean styles are added uh, for embellishment. Now, the Ptolemies, essentially uh, Hellenistic monarchs, uh, continued the line of pharaohs uh, and secure links to the pharaonic line by marrying Egyptian royalty. Uh, the new Greco uh, pharaohs appear on coins and temple reliefs in pharaonic trappings, uh, bringing much needed uh, stability and prosperity to Egypt. Now, the Greeks associate Tuth with their god Hermes, uh, so much so, so closely, uh, that the two deities blended together uh, in an expression of this Greco-Egyptian uh, cultural, uh, well, fusion, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, with the Toth-Hermes amalgamation, a legend grows about the Lord of Scribes. Toth Hermes uh, was said to have uh, left to his successors a sacred or divine text, the Book of Toth, uh, with secret knowledge for the regeneration of humanity uh, and an expansion of uh, spiritual consciousness. According to the legend, the book is kept in a temple in a sealed box, a golden box, uh, that was used uh, in the uh, ancient mystery uh, religions, the ancient mystery cults. Now, when the mystery cults declined uh, and Christianity begins to become prominent, the Book of Toth was carried to another, well, unknown location where, according to legend, it still exists today. Now, Toth, let's get into the god. Uh, well, he's a Promethean figure. Uh, he gives the act of writing to humanity uh, and uh, is the patron uh, deity of all scribes uh, and all knowledge. Uh, Toth is also the Egyptian moon god. Uh, in one uh, origin myth, uh, an obscure origin myth, uh, the sun god Ra created the moon as a light for the night sky. Uh, he, Ra, then uh, uh, placed it under Toth's supervision. Toth then becomes associated with esoteric knowledge uh, and was said to have written the, the first uh, book of magic. Now, uh, Toth is a healer, magician. Uh, he restores the eye of Horus, the falcon eye, uh, the god of the sky. Uh, uh, this is a, uh, the eye of Horus was a common amulet uh, which uh, it often rested on a crooked rod-like scepter. Uh, it symbolized, uh, well, uh, well, on the science, omnipotence, or broad vision. Uh, and the amulet provided the, uh, well, wearer uh, with fertility uh, and, uh, well, supposed invisibility. Now, an archaic and ancient deity, uh, Toth, is pre-dynastic and is featured, uh, as I mentioned, in a lesser-known creation myth, that originated in Hermopolis, which happens to be the city of Toth. Now, in the sacred story, four divine couples known as the Agadad, the Eight, uh, which are elements of, uh, well, procreation chaos, well, they link up into male and female pairs, and from these uh, eight deities comes an egg. Now, the egg bearing the god... Uh, the egg essentially holds the god that will be responsible for creating all other gods, uh, creating humans, animals, and plants. Now, some scholars believe that originally Toth may have been the creator god, uh, and that Amun was later, well, easily inserted uh, in his place. Now, the Ogadad uh, and the creation myth remain obscure. Uh, their names are listed inconsistently, in various religious texts. The uh, pyramid text mentions two of the pairs, uh, and a uh, coffin text names the four pairs uh, and connects the Ogadad to Toth uh, and divine wisdom. Uh, so we know that uh, Toth originated uh, with the Ogadad, uh, the eight. <laughs> now, uh, Toth also plays a major role in the Egyptian religious texts. For example, the Book of Two Ways. Uh, in which the common people, when they die, become stars in the sky and dwell alongside the moon god, Toth. Now, a map of the heavens was designed by Egyptian astrologers, astronomers, uh, as, a, as a way to guide a spirit on its journey in the afterlife. Uh, now, for the followers of the lunar cult, Toth, the uh, celestial uh, map was included with funerary texts 
the map shows the location of uh, Toth's mansion uh, in the Stellar Palace of Truth. Now, the Book of Breathing is another example of uh, Tothian religious literature. Uh, we have six surviving copies uh, from the Greco-Roman era. Uh, the text is said to be a translation of a book written by Toth uh, and handed down across the ages by the priests of Amun. Now, the six surviving copies are all very different, but uh, they do agree that breath is the key to spiritual purification. Uh, the different texts also provide us uh, with some interesting tidbits, uh, coffins, uh, materials, uh, the names to obscure guardians and gatekeepers of the netherworld. Uh, there's obscure prayers and hymns uh, that were addressed to Toth, uh, and spells that offered a, uh, well, litany of protection. So uh, this is an important uh, religious text. Now, uh, in classical Egyptian art, uh, Toth was depicted in human form uh, with the head of an ibis, uh, and sometimes wholly as an ibis, or as a, uh, well, seated baboon. Now, uh, the sacred bird uh, and sacred ape both wear a crown, the crescent moon, uh, that is surrounded uh, by a moon disc. Now, the sacred bird, the ibis, or the ibis, uh, and its long pointed beak uh, to the Egyptians was uh, reminiscent of the crescent moon uh, and also uh, of, of the uh, uh, quill uh, that was used by the scribes and linked to the fathering of writing uh, and wisdom, Toth. Uh, the white ibis was considered to be an uh, incarnation of the moon god, uh, and the stride of the ibis equaled one cubit. Now, a uh, cubit for those of you who don't know, was the measurement used uh, to build uh, structures, but mostly temples. Uh, there was a strong spiritual belief that the god Toth hovered over the Egyptian people in the form of the sacred bird, the Ibis religiosa, or the Ibis religiosa. Uh, and basically, T uh, Toth taught them the literary arts and sciences. Now, the baboon, well, uh, in Egyptian art, uh, the baboon is also linked to the moon god, usually a large white ape uh, with a very erect penis uh, in a stooping position uh, with a disc of the moon on its head. <laughs> now, the baboon uh, in Egyptian art was also shown in the attitude of prayer uh, and was a symbol of wisdom in the East. Uh, worshipped as a divine being. Uh, the baboons make agitated, uh, well, chattering sounds and rise up on their hind legs in an attitude, uh, well, that basically greets the rising sun. Uh, they were considered uh, creatures sacred to the moon god, incarnations of Toth, uh, and the protective patron of scholars and scribes. Now, the divine scribe, uh, the god of wisdom and knowledge, uh, well, uh, and the one who enters into the celestial record the names of the souls who pass into the afterlife uh, and, well, adjudicates the hall of two truths. Uh, Toth is an intellectual deity uh, that also decapitates the adversaries of truth and wrenches out their hearts. Uh, let's move on to Hermes, uh, the son of a lusty nymph, Maya, uh, who consorts 